Hey guys, I'm going to take the seat out of the Tahoe. This is the Tahoe. And I'm going to attempt to put this replacement cover on there. So it says I've got to take the seat out. Then I'll have to uh, undo the... Uh, there's one on each side there. There are these strange looking uh, nuts, but these a 5 8 or a 9 16 standard socket with a six point like these. And then I go to a metric and go to something like 11 in the back or 12. Anyways, I've tested them on there. They do loosen them up. And then there's a bunch of wiring under here. So I'm going to go ahead and take this out. And then I'll bring you guys back when I get it into the garage and start to disassemble the seat. All right. So anyways, um, one of these were a little galled up uh, as it was coming out. It left a little piece of shaving there. As you can see, it goes through to the ground. Uh, but I think it'll be fine. I'll put some no-sees on that. There's a little wobbly washer on this post. And, oh, I was going to tell you guys, a 7 sixteenths took the back out. And a 5 eighths in the front. So I was able to use American. Uh, GM was easy on me on this one. You just got this little pin. You can take this guy out of here like that. And then depress this this one. So slide this out. And uh, I don't know if I could do that one-handed. No, I have to take that out off camera. But then, then I think the seat's out of here. All right. Bring you back in a bit. Okay, so I got the seat out on the bench here. Now, I have one uh, nut that was captured in this hole here I couldn't get out. And then I put the seat all the way back so I couldn't get to it, so it's still there. It's only staying in this little piece I can get to when I go to put the seat back in. What I don't know if I, sh I guess I'll find out is should have I reclined the seat or brought the, uh, I guess the seat bottom up and down doesn't matter, but this reclining it may have gave me more room in the back of the seat bottom. So I, I know that uh, this is the seat bottom here, and this is the frame here. So I'll take these two out. Looks like down here, this will just slip up and out. I've got to figure out this wiring is going to stay with the seat. It's connected, so I'll disconnect, disconnect. Uh, there's a couple more over on this side. Disconnect, disconnect. So. Let me get a little farther along here, and then I'll bring you guys back. All right, so I had to take a couple of these little guys off. That one, that one. This harness here should go with the seat bottom. And so everything, I hope, everything is disconnected. I got these two guys here coming off. At this one and this one. Oops, that one still needs a little more. And like I said before, I think those just slip up and over. So I should be able to. Everything's disconnected here. I don't know about this, but I think that's that's okay. Ah, uh, no, it's it's hooked in right there. So I'm gonna have to do something with that guy too. So I'll figure that out and I'll be back. Okay, so I just disconnected uh, this plastic panel here, and the seat belt is right here. So after that, it looks like. Uh, Everything else is going to come. I had a couple other plugs that I had to go up up in here and get off. Uh, but now the seat belt appears to be the only thing holding it on right now. 
Okay, the seat should be free to come out now. One thing I noticed, you see these wires that are bent around this bar? Look at these ones over here. So what I'll probably do is bend these back on themselves and add a little wire and just uh, redo that because I'm sure that when you sit in this part of the seat over here, uh, which is the part that you get in and out of, um, no, actually, this is the side next to the console, but yeah, I'll fix that up. Okay, pull the seat off here. Okay, so I'll have to pull this switch because it's got the cover sandwiched in between it. Um, you've got, I pulled the seat belt out with the, uh, that label facing outwards, so I'll be able to push that back in later. I just made a mental note of that. There's these little clips like this that push out to hold this tight here. And there's another one over there. And uh, yeah, after I get the switch out, I'll just start pulling this. Uh, there's another one up here. It should just pull off. Okay. Okay, guys, this is the old cover pulled off. It's got a series of this uh, Velcro-y stuff that the old cover was sitting in here. I don't know what the heck's going on here. I got one good wire running to my heated seat, but these three, nothing broke. That's just the way they are. That's just a little bit odd to me. But anyways, I'm going to focus right now on fixing these guys back up. So I did a little uh, pulling this these wires tight around there with some welding rod, so that'll be a little stronger. I'll put the cover on now. All right, so I'm starting off by turning the cover inside out and pushing this Velcro down, pulling it tight and pushing it down into here to try to get this, this fairly tight across here, and then I'll fold it over. Okay guys, so the toughest part so far was this right here. Well, actually getting this this uh, plastic lip bent over here was quite a chore. It's easy over here because this just pulls in, but this has to be reversed on itself and pushed down. This, I just uh, cut it out and made sure I pulled all the extra through here on the other side of that switch. So that tucked it in tight over here and that turned out pretty nice. Okay guys, well, that's the finished product. Is it perfect? No, it's not perfect. But is it better than it was before? It's definitely better than it was before. So I would say on these replacement seat covers, they fit pretty, pretty doggone nice. I had to clean the back up a little bit because of course that's 22 years of wear there. I'll probably get it a little better with some leather cleaner, but uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, all right, well, there's the cover, seat cover back in the Tahoe. Actually turned out pretty nice. And, uh, yeah. So, I want to appreciate you guys for uh, watching the video. It's going to be too bad because I'm going to have to say goodbye to this uh, Tahoe after 20 one years love this truck they're just not worth much it's worth actually more as a ls swap and parting it out than it is to sell it but uh, we're in the market for a new truck it should be coming sometime this summer so we'll make a couple more trips with this one but yeah okay guys well i appreciate you watching the video and uh till next time